Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow Effects once again, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install our After Effects Pro Toolkit for Stream Deck Plus devices pack. Once you have this up and running, you'll be able to use the dials on the new Stream Deck device to control your timeline, to navigate through your different elements, and even adjust parameters in your effects. So, once you've downloaded the pack and unzipped the file, this is what you'll be looking at. Now, in your pack is a PDF document that details all of these installation steps very clearly, as well as gives you a complete navigation guide as to where everything is in this set of profiles. Recommend you go through the installation process in the PDF, as it will have the most up-to-date information over this video. But should you need some additional clarification, certainly turn to this video for the help. So one of the first things we need to do, because we include a few expressions in this pack, we need you to install a free piece of software. The URL address is included in the PDF document. This is where you'll be going. It's videocopilot.net and it's their FX console piece of software. So you go to this website, you'll scroll down and you're going to uh, download it for your particular operating system. Next, what we're going to do is we've got keyboard shortcuts that we have to install into your system so that the commands line up with what we've got in our profiles. So as you can see, we've got a keyboard shortcut folder here in our download and divided into Mac and Windows. I'm demonstrating on a Windows right now. We'll show you the Mac in a second. So in the Windows file, it's this file here. And where we want, need to place it is we need to go to your app data folder. So it's under your username, app data, into roaming, Adobe After Effects, Adobe After Effects, and the current version that you're working on, I'm on 23.1 right now, and in this AEKS folder. So you will drag and drop this text file into this AEKS folder and you'll be good to go. Now if you can't see your app data folder, it's likely that it's been hidden by the operating system. I'm on Windows 11 right now, so what you do on Windows 11 is very easily just go over to the ellipse here, go to View, Show, and you'll click on Show Hidden Items and that should make your app data folder visible. So once again, it's, it's located under your username. Now, if you're working with Windows 10, be sure to look at the PDF included in the pack. It details the steps on how you can view the app data folder in the Windows 10 operating system. So check that out. Now over on the Mac side, the keyboard shortcut file, of course in the, in the Mac folder here, you're gonna take this and you're gonna go over to your users and uh, username, library, preferences, I'm going to Adobe, After Effects, your version of uh, After Effects that you're currently running, and into the AEKS folder. And that's where you're going to drag and drop that text file into. You'll need to restart After Effects, and then go to your Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and you'll select it from this drop-down menu here. You'll see they'll be listed here, and that's the one you're going to need to include is the version two, and you say okay. Now the next thing we need to do is install our Sideshow FX presets for these expressions. And so if we open up our documents folder, you can see I'm in my um, PC documents folder here. We're gonna go into Adobe, my version of After Effects, whichever version you're working with, and in your user presets. So you'll take this SideshowFX presets expressions folder and you'll drag it and drop it in there. I already have it in there, so I'm not gonna do it at the moment. Now on the Mac side for the presets folder, it's the same folder, SideshowFX presets exp. You're going to go into your documents folder, your users document, and go into Adobe, into your recent version of After Effects and into the user presets. So it's the same as it is on Windows and you take this and you'll drop it into there. Now we need to load up our Stream Deck profile. So if we go into the Stream Deck folder here and go into your operating system, currently I'm on uh, the Windows system at the moment, uh, but the Mac system is identical. It has the uh, exact same number of profiles, but they are different. You have to, if you're on the Mac system, you have to load the Mac ones. If you're on the Windows, you have to load the Windows ones, obviously. 
So I'm going to open up my Stream Deck software, make sure it's open to, and I have several devices uh, connected here. So make sure you're on the Stream Deck Plus device if you have more than one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go through this list of 12 profiles and we're going to double click them so that they will install into our Stream Deck software. And there you go, it just takes a second really just to go through those. So we're gonna navigate to the AE Pro Toolkit main SD Plus folder. This is the main folder we want to launch when After Effects is selected or launched. So we're gonna go into the preferences here. I wanna make sure that we've got all of them all loaded here. There are 12, so make sure that you, you count 12 that are loaded in case something didn't double click correctly. We'll locate our main profile, click on it, and under application here, we're gonna select our After Effects application. If you don't see it listed here, go into other and just navigate to your program files folder. And this is what you want to select. You're currently running After Effects application executable, and you'll see it's associated with After Effects there. This just means that when we are working in After Effects, this profile will appear. Okay, so we've loaded in the 12 different profiles, but we need to link them all to each other because currently what these are, these are switch profile keys, meaning that when you press one of these on your device, it will launch a different profile. So of course we need to point these to launch the correct profile. If I click on this one, it's just defaulting to a default profile. So we want to point to the file one to the AE Pro Toolkit file. And we're gonna go through and do the same for all the rest. Comp is going to go to AE Pro Toolkit comp, layer to layer, animation, character, 3D, window, and tools. So now these keys will launch the correct profiles. And if I go to my device here, you can see that, let's just do file. When I press that key, it does take me to file. However, you can see our back key, it's going to take us somewhere else because we haven't pointed it to the correct profile. And of course, this back key is always going to go back to our main Profile. So by clicking on this, you can see it says default profile. We need to point this to main. Now that it's pointed to main, when I press it on the device, it takes me back to my main page. So now we have a complete loop. File goes to file, main goes to main. Now we need to do this for the rest of these keys. So comp, click, main. You can see we press back. Layer, main, press back. Now we're going to go back to layer because you'll notice that there was an additional key here. This is an additional switch profile that needs to point to the mask profile. So we click on that. We go to mask. Now when we click on our device, it takes us to the mask profile. It has a back. Instead of going to the main, because we were launching this from within the layer profile, we're gonna point this back to layer. So now when I press it, you see it goes back to exactly where it was. Mask goes to mask, this goes back to layer. And once again, this will go back to our main. Click on animation. We'll select this to go to main. And while we're here, you can see we have two other uh, profiles. Go to keyframe labels. This is going to go to animation, which is where this key exists. And expressions is going to go to animation. Now we can press and we go back to our main page. Now we'll go to character. Main, go to 3D, let's go back to main, 
window. Main and the tools. Goes back to main. And there you go. That's all the navigation you need to do. They are now all connected to each other. Now when you launch After Effects, everything will be pointing to in the correct location. One thing I do want to point out in regards to the expressions, because you loaded FX console, it should default to the shortcut, and I'm going to press it on my uh, keyboard here, control space, that will la launch the FX console search pane. Now you see this gear icon here, if we click on this, opens up the preferences for this tool. It is by default when you load FX console that control space is used and that's what we use. So you shouldn't need to change anything, but in case it isn't launching for whatever reason, you wanna make sure the shortcut here is always control space. The other thing I want to mention is if you've been using FX console in the past and you have created your own shortcuts here, which you can do, they can conflict with the shortcuts that we've already created for this path. So if you're finding certain actions aren't responding correctly, you might want to check if you've included some of your own shortcuts here and to see where the conflict is. So that's it. You're up and running now. I suggest that you take a look at our navigation section of the PDF included in the pack. It goes into great detail of where everything is and how it works. In addition, take a look at our navigation video. I run through all the different dial sections, break it down for you and show you how they work in action. I hope this helps out with your workflow. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.